So you're going to start with your right knee down, left leg forward. And you're just going to reach forward and up. As you sink your hips down, you're going to reach back and straighten the front leg. Come up, reaching forward, and then bring it back. Come up forward, and then bring it back. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, and exhale. You're going to pause here. Dig this front heel in. Just move the foot side to side. center, shift forward, sink down, take the arms up, get a big stretch, and then bring the hands back down. You're going to rock your weight side to side. So you're just going to take your hips side to side, literally shift to the right, shift to the right, left. Good. And then if you want, you can start to make this more of a circle. So we've already gone forward and back. We just did a couple times side to side. You can take your time deciding if it feels okay or not. If you're circling, reverse it. And then come back through center. This back leg, this right leg, you're going to turn your foot in so that it turns toward the left side. And then you're going to bring your right hand to your right hip, your left arm to your left side. You're going to push into the leg, you're going to sink forward. Push and sink. So it's like you're guiding your hip with your hand here. Two more. Good. You're going to come through center. Put the left knee down. Bring your forearms down to the ground if it's okay. And then you're going to rock forward and back. Keep your core really engaged here. Breathe with it. A couple more. And then come back up onto your hands. We're just going to flip all of this around to the other side. So now you've got your right foot in front of you. You're going to inhale, reach up, and then exhale, sink back. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just making sure I'm in frame. Inhale, and exhale. Keep moving there. So you're not just falling into a stretch here. You're really actively pressing through the back knee, pressing through the front foot, engaging the muscles around the joints, creating lots and lots of stability. Next time you come back, hold it here. Bring your hands down. Dig the heel and take the foot side to side. And as you take the foot side to side, you're not just taking the foot side to side. You're guiding the whole leg all the way up into that hip socket so that you're moving the thigh bone in the hip socket. Good, come back through center, re-bend the front leg, stretch up, and then bring the hands down, and then rock your weight side to side. And then if it's okay, you'll start to do a circle here. And then we'll reverse it. Come back through center. You're going to take this back leg, your left leg. You're turning your left foot over to the right. Bring your right arm onto your right thigh, your left hand to your hip. So you're guiding the hip forward and back. Forward and back. Last one. Come through center, bring your hands down, bring that knee down. You've got another set here, forearms come down. Maybe take the knees a little further away this time if it feels okay, and you're coming forward and back here. 
Try not to collapse through the belly. So keep the belly lifting away from the floor, the front ribs lifting away from the floor. Connect to the legs down. So if you're tentative here, it's gonna make your brain respond that you're not sure. Be confident in your movement. Make it smaller if you need to. Last one. Good. Bring the feet toward each other. Push down, pull the knees up, and then just flip over onto your butt. Take the feet wide. Drop one knee in, one knee out. Come back through center. Switch it. And we're just going side to side here. You're not just flopping the knees. When you come across, squeeze this glute. When you come across, squeeze this glute. That way you start to open up the front of the hip. Shake them out, keep the right leg up, support calf, hamstring, no foot, no foot, no foot. You don't need to touch your foot right now. So hamstring, arms go straight, push the leg away from you. So push your leg toward your left leg. Push the lifted leg toward the lower leg. Push, push, push. You're working the leg straight. Good, take an inhale, release the leg, exhale, see if the leg can draw in. Maybe take the calf, push, 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 away, push away, push away, push away. Don't pull in, push away. Take an inhale, exhale, let go, and then see if your leg comes in a little closer. Hamstring or calf, push away, push away, push away with the leg. One more inhale, and then exhale, see if your leg comes in a little closer. Bend that knee. Switching sides. I would start at the hamstring. I am going to start at the hamstring. Push the leg away from you. So toward the right leg. Take an inhale. Let go. Exhale. Maybe draw the leg in a little closer. Maybe calf. Maybe stay with hamstring. Push away. One more. And then release. Draw in. Maybe to calf. Push away, push away, push away. And then release and draw in. Really good. Bring both of your knees. Happy baby. Take your feet, pull your feet out wide. Good, hug your knees into your chest, rock all the way up, come all the way up to standing slowly. 
And then just circle the knee. And circle the knee. Circle the knee. Circle the knee. And then sink down. Hands on your thighs. Just push the knees out gently. Drop in. Get a good opening in the knees. Come back up to center. Other side. Press open. Come back up to center. Inhale. Take it up. Exhale. I hope that helped. See how you feel. Walk around. Quick hips and hamstrings.